Good evening, everybody. Sorry about this. I'm out of the way there, and you guys can't see me here. So um, I will have to tip Facebook down again so you can see. So we are going to do keto corn dogs. We had that drink come out, um, snow cone and cotton candy, so it made me think of circus foods, and I thought, oh, I want to try this. So I found this recipe. I got this cute little thing off of Amazon. It's a corn, mini corn dog, waffle maker, it called. So, I've got six hot dogs. It says it makes four to five. We'll see. I'll show you what I made earlier, but they didn't work so hot because my husband buys jumbo hot dogs, and those are just a little too big. I mean, they worked, but I think they just took too much room. So, I've already cut these in half. I got... Taco Bell Southern Layer Blend. Uh, it said Mexican Cheese Blend. I sent him to the store to get it, and it was either four Mexican Cheese Blend or seven layers, so he got that. Almond flour, two eggs. Um, I have the cornbread flavoring and salt, and that's about it. So let's get this baby going. So we got two eggs. We're going to beat these up. Who loves corn dogs? I love corn dogs, especially with some mustard on them. You can put ketchup on them. This recipe also had said that um, you could add um, jalapenos. As you're hopping on, if you could say hi, so I know that you're on here. If you see that red button up here on the left, Put a one in the comments. If you don't see that, that means you didn't catch the live and I missed you. So put I missed you or number two in the comments. If you'd like to follow me, hit the screen, hit the three dots over here. You can follow me. If you want to turn on live notifications, you can always do that by hitting the screen again. Hit the three dots up here, turn on live notifications, and you can put me as a favorite. So hit the screen, hit the three dots again, and put me as a favorite TikTok. You will have to come over and find me at Barb Staller on uh, Facebook. Send me a friend request. If we're not friends anyway, right away already, um, and then I will accept it. Or I can send you one. Sometimes it's easier if you just send it to me because sometimes I get just too much stuff in my mail or DMs. All right, so then it is... A cup. Oops, I forgot to get my cup. Oh, no, that was a half cup because I only did a half recipe there. Sorry about that. It's a cup of the cheese. Whoa! Well, we're going to have a little more than a cup. <laughs> you know, that's, that's how it goes when it's live, right? And this is heating up. I just washed my counter, so don't worry about it. And I'm going to eat it anyway, not you, so who cares, right? So then you're going to mix the cheese in. And then we're going to do a tablespoon of the almond flour. And that's all the almond flour we need. And then it is... A half teaspoon of the cornbread extract flavoring, whatever. I think I got this actually off of Amazon a long time ago. I make it around the holidays. I make cornbread stuffing. It's really good. And I have to have this for that because, of course, we don't eat cornbread. And then it's going to be a quarter teaspoon of salt. Then mix all this up so it's well blended. Hey, Kathy. Kelly. I don't know, since I've been on this prednisone for my um, autoimmune diseases, 
Um, my eyesight's gotten terrible as far as trying to read small print, so it's hard to see. But like I say, I do a lot of keto kitchens. I try to give you information about keto. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions anybody has about keto. So if you could, if we're not friends already, just send me a friend request and we can chit chat back and forth if that's what you like. Or if you'd like in a fantastic resource group, put group in the comments. I can get you put into that. It, the reason it's private is because they're very particular. And if you um, have negative comments or anything, they don't allow you in there. So it's a fantastic group. There's all kinds of doctor's videos about keto and all that. So now this is heated up. So you want to take about two thirds up, it said. I think that might be a little too much. Maybe not. Mumble to myself, talk to myself. Who talks to themselves? I do it all the time. Whoops. Let's start with that. And then you take your um, corn dog sticks and just stick them right through your hot dog. Set your hot dog in. Yeah, we tried the jumbos and that was just a little too big. So he went out and got me some regular sized hot dogs. And then you want to top it off with some more. This is what it said. And like I say, they seem to have worked out. Yeah, might have enough for one more. Let's see if we can get one more in here. Whoops, wrong end of the stick. Who loves like fair food, circus food? Me, I love it. I don't eat it anymore, but I, I still love it. This one, let's put a little more. This is going to overflow. I can tell you right now, we're going to have a mess. And that says about three to five minutes. This came with a, um, when the light turns green means it's done. And we shall see. Like I said, it tastes good. What I have done there, it's just, like I say, the jumbos are just a little too big. They worked, but they're just a little too big. So let's see how they come out with these. So, hey, Karen. Um, Kathy, I got the corn dog maker off of Amazon, actually. Um, I might be able to send you the link. Like I say, if we're not friends already, send me a friend request and DM, and then I'll accept it. We can talk back and forth, but I, I and I can send you that link to Amazon. I'm pretty sure. I think I can copy and paste it. We'll see. So, like I said, I've been keto for about three years. Um, anybody that's been following me for however long I've been doing these, probably about a year and a half, two years. You know I've, get, I've put some weight back on. Can't help it. When you're on prednisone, that's just how it goes. I've been very down about it. Been kind of out of everything. Hey, Darlene. TikTokers, I can't see you. You're way up on my light there so you can see what I'm doing. And you're too far away. And like I say, I just talked to my sister-in-law today. I said, I don't know why. Pregnizone affects my eyesight, but everything like it gets blurry. Um, my eyes get very tired. So, what's everybody else doing for dinner tonight? Um, I just came off my 60 hour fast. I actually went 65 hours. I went longer than what I posted, but I just wasn't that hungry. And I felt amazing yesterday. And so it's called our me a, a metabolic reboot. So it's an assistive fast, you just don't eat, you get your broth, your 
ketones in your electrolytes and AM PM capsules you take. Fantastic. Oh my goodness, the yesterday the energy was crazy. I cleaned my office, I sorted all my cook uh, loose recipes. Oh my goodness. I had piles of them. They're all into notebooks except for one batch that I need to go buy some more notebooks to put in. I um, cleaned all my makeup brushes, put my makeup on yesterday, and I put it on today again because I'm feeling good. And then what else did I do? Oh, cleaned my bathroom closet. Three bags of garbage out of there today, yesterday. Good thing I did it yesterday because it was trash day. I could take it right out. Um, I don't know. I did other things too, and I was just busy, busy, busy. Had so much energy. If you want any of the reboot information, just send me a thing. Now that one did not work out so hot. This one did. Yep, they're sticking. They're kind of sticking. I had, um, maybe they go a little bit longer. I'm going to say a little longer. They're not quite done. Um, <clears throat> TikTokers, Facebook, you can find me on Facebook and send me a friend request and DM me about the reboot. If you want more information about rebooting, it's fantastic. We do as a big group once a month. Um, sometimes I do two a month. They also have a 24-hour fast um, that we can do. Um, I do that about every other week, sometimes every week. It depends on how I'm feeling. And then, of course, I do keto. And then, of course, I do um, intermittent fasting every day, a 16-8 program. So, like I say, if you want information, put information in the comments. Hey, Rona. Um... But I'm going to tell you, the best way to start off is to do that reboot. Or we have a 10-day challenge, so you um, can do it that way. And I always have trials. So, oh, and they just dropped a new flavor called Green Genie. I heard it tastes like a kiwi lime or like a mojito. So if you're interested in a trial of that, I have that too. So there you go. All kinds of stuff. Well, my light went out again. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, see, now they're coming off better. I still don't think they want to come apart, though. Nope. I don't know what the issue is. The big ones came out right away. Let's try this a little longer. Hey, Helena. Oh, now they're whistling. Whistling, whistling. We're making corn dogs. Because, you know, all those new flavors we dropped this year, this summer, were um, made me think of circus and fair. And corn dogs are just one of those foods. It made me want fair food. All right. I'm going to take my scissors here. Maybe we just have to cut it since they didn't. Ah, let's just cut it off. There we go. There we go. You know, you got to adapt, right? We got to adapt to everything in life, it seems like. This does not want to come off because it's way overflowed. I haven't done cooking over there. So maybe a little less of the batter. You know, trial and error, trial and error. That's what we do. There you go. And I'm gonna unplug this. Well, yeah, no, I'm gonna be plugged in because I wanna cook up that last one. So there you go. There's your corn dogs. Um, I will post the recipe above or the link. I have to figure out which way I have to do this. And then I top mine with some mustard. You could put ketchup if you want ketchup. Um, they, I didn't put jalapenos in my batter, but you can do that also. So that... Hey, Quinn. They are good. And I haven't had a corn dog in I don't know how long. So yummy, yummy. Let's see. Well, let me try one here. 
We'll just eat one right there. My mustard's got a block in it. <laughs> I have to like really squeeze it. There we go. So take me back to the fair, right? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Like I said, I would probably use a little less batter. Put it down and put some batter on top, but not quite as much as I did. So that's all I got for you. Thank you so much for hopping on. I will talk to you all soon. Love and appreciate every single one of you. Oh, and if you could share me out, I would really appreciate it. I do have a drawing at the end of the month for anybody that shares me out. So make sure if you share it out, you comment, share it in the comments so I know you did. Otherwise, you won't be in the drawing because I won't know who did it. Um, Facebook gets funny. doesn't let me see who shares out. Um, I don't know on TikTok. I will look in there and see how they do it. I know that you can share from TikTok. So we will see. And if you try this recipe, could you please let me know how you liked it and what you thought about it. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye.